two unities character controller under five minutes so first we'll make a capsule let's add a capsule to our scene then let's go search for character controller and then we'll have the character controller component it has some uh, variables or values like you could see slope limit step offset skin width minimum move distance uh, and center radius height so everything should match our capsule for now like let me just disable remove the capsule controller because we won't sorry uh, remove the capsule collider because we won't be uh, needing it the character controller itself is a collider and uh, the values match like the height and uh, height and radius seems to match with our capsule for now let's also make a ground just so our character can stand on something so I'll quickly go into 3D objects, add a plane, name it ground, alright, let's move it a bit below, just right below our, where our character stands, okay, this seems to be good, yeah, now for the, for the character controller, let's add a script, let's name it player controller, like this, let's add a new script, let's open it in visual studios i'll let it load for a minute all right now let's open it okay let's let's give reference to our character controller i'll make a serialized field character controller Nope, we don't want to update it right now. CC. So, as it's a serialized field, I can drag and drop it in the component, like in the inspector itself. So, yep, I don't think we'll be needing. Okay, we might need start later on. First, let's set a gravity value. So, it's gonna be type float and gravity load gravity equals to 9.7.5 if so okay if let's see if our character is uh, grounded alright so if it is if sorry let's check if it's not grounded this is for not the exclamation mark is used for not you, you all might know this by now so if it is not grounded then we'll be adding some gravity to the character controller for that we'll do cc dot cc dot move instead of new vector 3 let's make a vector 3 above like on the top let's name it velocity like this and uh, that's it let's inside a cc dot move let's say before this line let's do one thing let's add velocity dot y oops my bad Let's add gravity to our velocity dot y so the y axis will be affected by our gravity. Also, this should be negative 7.5 f. I made a change there. Okay, now let's multiply this with time dot delta time and let's add our velocity dot y here. Sorry, let's add our velocity here in character controller dot move. Move is a function. So I've already given the reference here. You can simply drag your character controller and give the reference like this. Let's start and see if it's working. Okay, there seems to be some kind of offset. Let's see what might be. Character controller dot is grounded wasn't working, so I've commented it out. Now when we we'll try this, you'll see that okay i'll just move the capsule a bit above and you'll see that it's adding our gravity to it 
but the capsule doesn't seem to touch the ground so what I'm gonna do is adjust the height a bit because I want like the character to touch the ground exactly so 1.82 looks like a good value for our height so that's what I'm gonna set here 1.82 alright you can adjust it in runtime and see what fits for your game or what fits for your character and set that all right now we have the gravity let's add some movement to our character as well so for that we'll make another vector 3 let's name it move and in move let's say this to input dot get axis we'll get the horizontal axis first and we'll multiply the horizontal axis with transform dot right because we want when the a or d key is being pressed which is basically the horizontal axis or the left or right key is being pressed then our character should move right like it could be right or left in this case because if it would be negative 1 which would be A in our case then it would be moving left let's do the exact same thing for forward and backward for that we will get the vertical axis which would be W or S key or the front or, or the up or down arrow so let's multiply it with transform.forward like this and now we can do cc.move cc.move and we can add move move is our vector 3 we just made and we can multiply it with time dot delta time but this this would be like a really slow movement you can try it yourself and see that so let's make another float value let's call it walking speed and let's set it to 2f for now and also let's make it serialize field so we can adjust this value from the inspector and see what fits for our game and I'll be multiplying it with our move and then I'll be multiplying time dot delta time above it to like okay now you can see we have our walking speed here let's start let's see what's our character doing all right it's moving forward backward left and right let's increase the speed a bit i've made it 2.65f okay this seems like a good value let's let's go with three for now all right he's moving a bit quicker so yep you have your character and if i'll go oops that was a really really fast like that gravity was a bit punchier a lot more punchier than we would expect so for decrease the gravity value a bit so i'll just do 3.5 let's see how that if the video was helpful then do like and subscribe in the next part we'll be adding jump as well i believe that a smooth jump with character controller can be a tedious task so i think it deserves its own video so hope you like